Travel makes you modest. You learn that you're small. Even on a huge bike like my GS Adventure. And especially riding it from the rolling hills of West Austria to nature's cathedrals in Tyrol. Their rugged peaks easily within reach of motorcycle heaven. There's some serious fun to be had in these parts. And I'm meeting the most joyful rider of them all. Hubert Fritz, president of the Ducati Club Tyrol Oberland and part-time king of the mountains. How long have you been riding bikes then? Since 1977. Started with a Ducati? The first no, one? no. Oh. Uh, with the first one was Kawasaki. And yeah. then I was a long Honda. Gefahren. Then I was going to Triumph. Mm -hmm. That was good. And then Three cylinders? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Ducati. Also, I tried everything. Kawasaki. I drive now, I already drive Brixton. I fahr den R10, mm -hmm. sagst du was? Ja. Das ist auf meinem Motorrad und in 20 auf der anderen. Mm -hmm. Das ist egal ob Regen oder Trocken, das ist ja. ein bisschen schnell, fast ja. ein verrückt. Mm -hmm. Das ist mein Leben. Ja. It would be really nice if we can go for a ride somewhere. Um, you just show me the way and yeah. uh, no problem. Riding with you is intense. However much he loves to joke and jest, he lives to twist the throttle. Unleashing his Ducati's twin-cylinder growl up against the side of the mountains, the ride to the motorcycle museum becomes a James Bond chase. Parts of Spectre will show you, you know. No wonder. As our echoes die, I spy a view coming to life in spectacular fashion. Have you been here before? Yeah, two times. Cool. Ah, the Italian. Wow. What is it that attracts you in the Italian bikes? Einfach das Design, das die ganze, das Leben. Das ist einfach keine Massenware als Handproduktiv. Sie machen heute noch zu 95 Prozent alles mit Hand. Why did you start the club? Das ist ein Enthusiasmus. Ja. Wir, leben, wir leben Motorradfahren, wir machen das alle so gerne und so haben wir versucht einen Club zu gründen und habe es dann gleich richtig gemacht, wir sind ein Tesmo ohne Club, das heißt wir sind mit Italien direkt mit Bologna verbunden. Okay. Uns wird gesagt, was wir machen. So it's an official. Haben, ja genau. What do you have to do to be an official club? Viel. Man muss sehr viel organisieren, man muss sich mit Ducati in Verbindung setzen, es gibt viele Auflagen zum Erfüllen ja. und vor allem äh, die, der ganze Club, der Vorstand vom Club, der darf nur Ducati fahren, der ist registriert. Also jedes Motorrad, das bei uns ist, ist mit nummeriert, registriert, weil wenn jemand eine Kawasaki hat, er kann nicht zum Beispiel Präsident oder irgendwas fahren, er muss Ducati ja. fahren. Ja. What would be um, your Perfect day. Sonnenschein. Sonnenschein. Wenig Verkehr, keine Polizei und ein gutes Motor. Ja, gut. But for you, it's like you cross the mountains into Italy. Ja. Yeah. And this is, yeah. Then it's free. Yeah. Friday Mitte is Schluss, one o'clock. Ja. Yeah. We go to Italy. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao tutti. <laughs> Motorradfahren ist einfach schön, weil man die Freiheit hat, oder? Ja. Du kannst hinfahren, wo du mit dem Auto nicht hinfährst. Das ist das Schöne am Motorradfahren. Mhm. Du hast so viel. The souvenirs of this trip that I'm collecting in my mind are priceless. But I want something tangible too. Something real. Something with a history and a story. Ideally handmade. As I descend, a bell rings. I know just the person. Walter, farmer, blacksmith, musician. Hello, Walter. Hello, hi. Hello. I'm fine. Hi. Thanks for having us. Good to see you. Wow. It's a full workshop here. Yeah. One of the last of its, of its kind, right? Yeah, the bar yeah. makers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What got you into this? Like, I, I did a, a school for machine engineering until 19 years. And after that, I studied here in the business and learned to, to make the bells from my uncle. At the end, my uncle, he, he 
keep me when I was of course a very really little child and 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 he he had he had no child he had no family and so he was my second father and and mm -hmm. my friend and you know yeah so yeah. and yeah it's, it's a nice tradition it's a very nice a cool thing because when the farmers came and by the bell they are going out with a big smile on the face because they are so happy with the bell they find the right one and that I think that's very nice the machines are from my grandpa yeah he, he bought it in, in the 20s. Do you know how much it weighs? The, what he presents it, it's about 70 tons. 70 tons. Wow. It's really like manual, huh? Everything yeah. is done by hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's nearly 30 steps. 30, to do. yeah. Wow. It how depends a little about the shape yeah. and, and, and the size. Yeah. How many do you make, like? A yeah. year, I don't know, do you know? I think we are about uh, between 200 and 500 yeah. bells okay. a year. Still, yeah. We, l we live from the farming, and farming in, in the Alps is very difficult at the moment because you, it's hard to earn money. So well, I'm not sure it's, it's needed anymore in, in 30 years, yeah, so we'll, we'll see. Does the thickness make the sound of the bell? Or? Yeah, for sure, also. It is. Yeah. Uh, there are a few things you have to look for. It's, the shape, uh, the thickness of the material, the material, every, every bell is a little different. Yeah. Well, what, what's, what's the importance of the sound in a bell? It, it depends a little. Uh, for, for, the, for the cattle there, when you're on the mountains, at the end it's, it's, very, it's important that it's loud, that you hear it very far, yeah. And maybe when, when they're around the house, it, it not, it's not important the loudness, it's more maybe than the, that it's a nice sound, yeah? Okay, yeah. And the farmer is happy with, with the sound, yeah? yeah? There's fresh air in my nose and a tune in my head. Maybe some yodeling even, in my helmet. I'm off to embark on the last leg of this journey. One that includes a world-class asylum for motorcycle maniacs, fried food and the weirdest leather suit you'll ever lay eyes on. Austria never ceases to amaze. <laughs>